Today we've got a head-to-head -head driver comparison between the Cobra LTD-X and the Mizuno 220 STZ. Thomas is here to hit some shots and we'll see what Trackman tells us. Golfers, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment and tell us which driver you prefer. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf and today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing and it's a head-to-head -head driver comparison video today, Thomas. Uh, the Cobra LTDX, the Bazuno 220 STZ, uh, both have been really good in initial testing, I think. Uh, I know in our earlier live video this year when we kind of had Cobra LTDX against the Callaway and TaylorMade models, there was a lot of fan uh, fandom for the LTDX. Now I'll put it up against Mizuno. STZ 220 model. Uh, try to maybe summarize these two in a head-to-head, -head, what you think will happen in this test here after your initial testing. Yeah, we were ask, had a lot of people asking for the Mizuno drivers as well, and we finally mm -hmm. got them so we can finally do some comparisons. These are the drivers, you know, you think Callaway, you think TaylorMade, you think Ping, Titleist, they're kind of your, your top four in the industry that see people tend to gravitate towards. These are kind of the, in that next step. They're trying to mm -hmm. break through with regards to you know, big, are they the next fastest driver out yeah. there? And I think this would be a great comparison of those of drivers that kind of just just in that next level. And maybe don't spend as much on, on marketing as the as the other got big big guys, I guess. But I'm going to expect you know forgiveness. It's not the lowest spinning driver mm -hmm. of, of the ones that are available. Mizuno STG 220 yeah. would be your most low spin driver, and then LTDX LS would be yeah. a lower spinning there as well. It's a lot of words to say, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So I would expect straight, straight or bull flights. Hopefully, I can hit the bull far. Yeah. So it'd be fun to fun to see which one kind of comes out on top. Yeah, I mean, both have done their own unique things to really generate that that low spin, that high launch that golfers are looking for, high MOI as well. Uh, you know, we've talked about in the string report videos for each of these drivers, kind of the unique features that uh, come you know at the, at the table for each of these drivers. Uh, so Thomas, you know, in this test, we've done this before with the head to head test, where we've kind of basically just swap the club. That's what our format's gonna be today. You hit drive, uh, one drive with the Cobra, for example, I'm gonna give you the Mizuno, we're gonna go back and forth. But we're able to do that because you have the same shaft in both. So try to you know explain to the viewers what we're gonna have there. Yeah, so I've got the, the Tenzai CK 60 gram golf shaft in both of them, both 45 and a quarter inches. I checked the swing weight, they're both around about D3, D4, so they're pretty, pretty similar overall. Um, what I did do though is the STZ is a nine and a half degree head. Okay. So, and then the Cobra LTD X is a nine degree head. I turned them both down to nine, seven and a half, sorry. Oh, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay, yeah. so, so we're gonna see some distance, we're gonna see chasing, some lower launch, yep. Chasing some distance, but I just found it made that was easier, just that way with, with Cobra you can go down minus 1.5. Yep. With uh, Mizuno you can go minus two. So why not max it out and try and hit some bombs? There you go. I like I, I like to see bombs. I like to see bombs. So, uh, well, you know, maybe 10-ish shots with each. We'll get a good uh, data set and we'll kind of compare. We'll see if there's any major differences. I'm excited because both have been really good so far in initial testing. Uh, are you ready to hit some shots now? Let's do it. All right, so Thomas, first up, I'll give you the LTD-X. Okay. And uh, one thing I'll ask you about too as we go is just the look, the feel, the differences there. Uh, I know that's a, a common thing that golfers and viewers want to you know, hear from you after hitting the shots too. All right, well let's get after some drives. First thing I'm noticing when I look down is the matte finish mm -hmm. is, is nice. There's no shininess or anything like that looking yeah. down at it. I know the Mizuno may be a little bit shinier on the crown. Yeah, just a little bit of gloss to it. Um, but it's not as bad because there is kind of like that um, you know, that, that texture on the back, kind of that checkered texture that, that takes away some of that shine, yep. but certainly there. All right, first swing. First swings are always fun. Oh yeah, getting into the groove, but that's Tug why that we're alternating. Just a little bit. That's why we're alternate. alternating. Yep. All right, I'll take this. that one. Mizuno. A little bit higher on the face on that one, but a really good miss. Yeah, it's, I did. It did sound a little bit different. I also noticed it hit the screen a lot higher. But yep. Hey, that that works. That was know? really forgiving for mm -hmm. how high on the face that one was. Oh, 
Okay. Now, right. we're, now we're picking up some steam here. Well, first one to crack the 300 carry distance. Mm -hmm. Always good second swing in with the Cobra. Mm -hmm. So uh, good. Another pretty good tee shot right there. Wow. That one is very, very straight. Dead straight. Yep. Just a touch shorter. Wow. Pretty good also. I miss it that one a little bit too. Really good miss it, but a little high on the face. Yeah. It's a couple times now that uh, I believe is it, was it that driver last time too? I think where you so. Missed yeah. It a little bit high on the face, and it's still again, it's not the you know highest ball speed, right? That ball speed does drop a little bit when you right. miss the center of the face. Shocker, but it's still out there over 300 yards, and it's dead straight. So, yeah, it's uh, we're noticing so far just a little bit lower in the speed with the Mizuno versus the Cobra. There we go. So with that, that's five now with each. And so I did want to bring this up because we have some numbers to talk about. Uh, first of all, give me your thoughts on the look and feel of you know, those two drivers. You now hit five with each. If kind of, you know, haven't all been perfect uh, contact on all of them. But yep. uh, now, by now, you've got some feedback on how that, that feel and look is. So. Yeah, I mean, they, they, honestly, they're quite different looking down at. Looking at the Cobra, uh, looks like it's more weight pushed back this way a little bit. Looking mm -hmm. at the Mizuno, it looks more pear-shaped, more rounded okay. looking down so at. So the Mizuno actually looks a little more, more you know, compact, I yeah. guess. Is what it say. also looks a little taller as well. So from the bottom of the club to the crown, yeah. uh, it definitely is taller, while the LTD-X is a little bit longer from heel to toe, but it's okay. a little narrower in the Interesting. height. Interesting. OK, yeah. interesting. And yeah. then, as you mentioned, Initially, right, this is again, we have five more shots with each club. Ball speed is much higher with the LTDX. Um, you know, spin a little bit higher. You're, and because of those two things, getting a little bit more carry distance. Uh, interesting, your tack angle is the same with the Exact both. same, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're just swinging a little bit faster with the LTDX so far. Yeah, mountain So all the things are kind of contributing to a little bit more distance, uh, but it's Honestly, not a, that big of a separation uh, based on those numbers. There. I think you're based, uh, bring out the hit location, because I think that's where we're going to probably see a little bit of difference there. Maybe a little bit more uh, so, human error. Yeah, so there's yeah. your STZ. And I've talked about hitting it up there mm -hmm. pretty consistently every single time. Yeah, and then you're and a, little a little bit closer with the LTDX. Yeah. So. Uh, but overall, I mean, you're, you're getting the, the distance and the, I mean, the dispersion too. I mean, honestly, look at dispersion's being great with both, with the exception of the first swing. Your Sometimes first swing with first the RCDX, any testing that usually. Pull. But other than that, yeah. I mean, this is actually there's actually four shots. There. It's four shots right here, with yeah. the, and the, the, these are four white dots. It might yeah. seem like three, but there's two on top of each other. Yeah. There's also uh, four dots there with the STZ 220. Right. That I don't think I've seen four shots. So that's close eight. Together. Eight out of ten of these are in a. I mean, how big is this area right here? That's you're talking. So yeah. <laughs> you're almost seven or eight yards left of. of Left and right, yeah. so it's a 15-yard window going to 320. That's yeah. That's the size of a very small green. Yeah. I don't think I've ever know. seen that in testing. So yeah. forgiveness so, is huge. So far, the dispersion is yeah. awesome with both. Let's uh, let's see if that continues. All right. Yeah, a little left. Yeah, a little pull. <laughs> like Any time I take a little break, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like that first swing is just a little bit of pull. Maybe a little right. Yeah, I hit Just it well. A Good ball speed there, mm -hmm. 166. Yeah, you, gained, you got a lot of, you know, that speed went up there and is now kind of competing with the LTDX. Yep. Mm, that one wasn't so good. It's interesting, I got the tendency of my misses to be just it's a little bit of a pull. With, with that the driver, cover. yeah. It's almost either absolutely dead straight, or you kind of have that pull that's just off the fairway there. Yep. Didn't feel like it was in the middle. It's a great miss. That is a great miss. <laughs> yeah. Because I could, I mean, I saw right away that it's, it's nice from my vantage point when you hit the ball and I can kind of see the first, the ball you know, speed ball speed pops indication. Up first. Yeah, and yeah, I'm like, so oh, I didn't quite know. get that one. 
Yeah. Um, and then from there, I can kind of make a little bit of an educated guess as to where it's going to go. I did yeah. not see it going 320 yards still when you had it, the ball speed that low, which is something, you know, worth noting with the right. STZ220. Yeah, so this is going to be quite interesting comparing these these drivers because, you know, we, we noticed mm -hmm. a couple of trends. It yeah. was, um, you know, club speed we're talking was 0 0.9 miles an hour slower with the yeah. STZ220. I was giving it all. <laughs> you were. You were. Uh, I mean, you had you put in some here, good cuts so. there. Uh, I don't feel like I hit it as well in the middle of the face when I was hitting the yeah. Mizuno. And I'm, I'm looking actually, here, yeah. and I know there were a lot of shots kind of high towards the middle of, of yep. the face there with that. There's the yep. STZ220, you know, heat map for the hit location. LTDX is going to be a little bit map, lower. Yeah. And, Just a little and, bit lower. Yeah. And uh, towards the center so there. So 11 millimeters up versus what was the... <sighs> 16 million. Yeah, so, so it's five we'll keep that in mind lower. as we look at the, the, the data here. That's um, going to influence the ball speed. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. But is it, is it four miles an hour ball speed difference? That would be the, the right. question. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Plus, you did swing the LTDX faster as well. So that could also contribute to a little bit more ball speed. But yeah. um, I'm just looking at this map. And first of all, I think it's really good dispersion for both clubs. Um, you just had those three misses left with the LTDX. Yep. That seemed to be kind of your miss. But basically, with all of them, maybe the exception of this shot out here, but otherwise, you're eliminating the right side of, uh, I mean, a right miss. You know, missing right, right and being penalized for it is yeah. eliminated for you, which I think is really giving you confidence with these drivers, knowing that the ball's going to most of the time go straight. If you miss the center of the club face like you did a few times, it's still going to give you a solid ball flight. But you, you got, what, 17 of these? out of the 20 are like right down the middle? Yeah, we're there in the middle of the fairway for sure. I find it interesting, STZ220, you got one left of center. Mm -hmm. Everything else was just a little yeah, bit that's right. True. Interesting. I mean, there is a grouping there of six that are basically on top of each other. Right. Of those orange dots. Yeah, it and seemed like you just had that, ba that kind of baby fade working with the STZ220 yep. uh, a little bit more than maybe the LTDX, but. Yeah, LTDX, yeah, I mean, we've got to talk about those three shots that I, that I did hit a little left, left with. Um, yes, you know, I had, I had seven that were probably the best seven shots yeah. that I hit, if mm -hmm. you take a look at that dispersion there. Yeah. Um, but there was, the, there was a chance, you know, that's maybe a little more human error there, but there was a chance they presented a more off-center, you know, direction. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yep. So let's actually look at the, the numbers here then. Um, we've got them all up here. Honestly, it, it, to the, actually, I'm surprised at how similar the carry distance has ended up being there. Right. Uh, you know, walk me through this this information here, Thomas, and if anything really jumps out of you between the two drivers. I mean, the spin. <laughs> How close is the spin right. between those? Yeah. The ten shots, mm -hmm. not taking out a single a single shot, and yeah. that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, I mean, I always like to look at the, the plus or minus numbers. So LTDX spin consistency was a little bit a mm -hmm. little bit tighter tolerance, I guess. Um, now, user error once again, catching a little high on the face, yeah. a, little, a little lower on the face with the STZ two twenty. Um, yeah, I mean, you're talking carry distance. We're separated by two yards. Yeah. Really, really good. I mean, mm -hmm. we've got quite a high sample size here. Uh, LTDX was just flying just a little bit lower. Yeah. Uh, and going further, it was chasing out a little bit more mm -hmm. overall. Yeah, and one thing, too, I wanted to look at, uh, and do you think, I didn't, and get your opinion on the, the face angle here, you were able to close up the LTDX on average a little bit more. I know you had the three that went left, so yep. that's definitely going to influence it. But um, is there anything maybe to the design of the club? Maybe there's a slightly, maybe more draw bias in the LTDX versus the, L the STZ220? Uh, I think for sure. I mean, I talked about briefly like looking down at the two of them. And when I'm seeing a taller face mm -hmm. um, versus you know, a face that's maybe got more volume from, left, from the heel to the toe, yeah. more volume left to, from the heel to the toe makes it probably a little easier to turn over. Okay. Uh, overall, and as I mentioned, these both are set at seven and a half degrees right. aloft, so they both are set with the face a little bit more open. Yeah. So they're they're maxed out basically. They're maxed mm -hmm. out for the lowest loft possible with each driver to try and match the loft with them, but they're both wide open. Yeah. Yeah. So it it, it took it mean you had to close that face a little bit more than usual still to kind of get the numbers and the dispersion that you did. Yeah, uh, it just seemed, you know, on average, right? You were closing the LTDX a little bit more than the STZ220. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on that and potentially if it's 
related to the design of the, of the club head there. Right. Uh, I want you to do something here. I want you to take out those three to the left. And I okay. want you to take out kind of the three maybe misfits to the right with the, um, okay. with the STZ220. So we'll take out, let's see, this one here. That one there. Then we'll go here. Number one. And then we'll go here. And then number 11. And then I want then take that one out to the right. One shorter. And then between, uh, maybe, maybe the one, one that will go to the right there. Yeah. So then this is kind of the seven this best is kind of each of club. Seven best of each club. Yeah. The other ones were maybe, yeah, probably a little user error overall. But now let's just see kind of where we, where we fall with mm -hmm. regards to, to the numbers. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> the numbers are still the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your club speed separated by one mile an hour. Uh, ball yep. speed still separated by four miles an hour. Um, now, spin is actually just a touch lower with the STZ220 versus the LTDX. I mean, you got your carry that's up a little bit more based on, you don't have that kind of left miss diving right. out of the sky, it's staying in the air a little bit longer, but still pretty similar overall. You know, five to six yards of difference in distance. Yep. Face angle. Face angle now is almost identical. There you go. So, yeah, so that's why I wanted to bring that up because now we're, we're seeing the face angle between the two of them, you know, the, the exact same overall and um yeah it's it's a good comparison i don't think i've hit a driver where i've hit seven of ten carrying 300 yards on average or more so yeah. i think that's i think that stands out for sure i think the cobra driver is a little bit hotter yeah a little um, bit um i bet you gotta you know look at dispersion and then now this dispersion looks tiny i mean you're right i mean we, now it, out, it now the like, magnifying glass yeah. is really you know you're zooming way in here and you're seeing, I mean, just how close together all these are out there now. Right. And so both dispersions are awesome. Again, we took, this is the seven best out of 10, but even we noticed the STZ was awesome dispersion uh, throughout, despite maybe, you know, not, you didn't hit it probably as well or as much in the center. So yep. I think we can, do we want to say dispersion kind of favorite STZ to 220 here? And then the, in terms of distance <laughs> and ball speed, the LTDX? Yeah. I mean, it, it's tough to say that with knowing that all these are basically in the dead center of the fairway. So well, if, yeah. you, if you bring out the, the shot shape, just, just kind mm -hmm. of show, show, you know, how straight these, these seven shots are with each one and we're going to wear the flying. Yeah. I mean, uh, and that's that's quite interesting looking at the, at the differences there between the two of them. Mm -hmm. and I would take every single one of those fourteen drives yeah. there, and I'd be a very very happy guy. Oh yeah, yeah. So I don't I don't I mean, we're getting neck neck picky right now on the dispersion when we're getting this close together because yeah. they both were exceptionally good. Yeah. yeah, I know you. I mean, with both, you found yeah. out you found that the club performed better than you maybe thought it would on some of the misfits that you had. And then I think you're also kind of pleasantly surprised, at least on the speed of the LTDX, you know, yep. some extra speed, some extra distance that maybe you didn't anticipate there. So uh, a lot of benefits with both drivers, I think, for sure. Right. And I think you know, two things to here to finish up with. One, I think that the, um, the LTDX, the fastest driver of the day, mm -hmm. 332, yeah. I think, is what it was. And mm -hmm. that's, that's quite far. Um, yeah. But I will say, you know, you put all the shots back in together, include all 10. I think the dispersion was a little bit tighter with the STZ, mm -hmm. uh, even though I wasn't catching it right in the middle of the face. And I yeah. think forgiveness for sure is for sure showing with this particular driver as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think they were, well, they both performed really well. And I think it shows, you know, what a great year it is to be in the market for a new driver. There's so many great options. So um, with that said, we always recommend coming in a second swing and getting fit with uh, one of our experts such as Thomas in the store in the tour van or you can go online through a virtual fitting with one of our experts on our online fitting and support team. They'll walk you through uh, all the options here especially with the LTDX series or the Mizuno 220 series and I'll tell you which one is right for your game. So Thomas thanks for hitting all the shots today giving all this information and the data. Uh, again both great performers today. Yep both going pretty far and really forgiving. <laughs>